Fire, what are you saying? Yes, fire key give thanks to life as usual, you know? No, serious thing. We are here again, Ball Hit and the Dread Podcast. And I want to say we really appreciate everyone been supporting the thing, streaming the thing, downloading it, sharing it. We really give thanks and hopefully we'll try our best to give you reasons. That's on the heights to make you think, you know, make you look at life at a different perspective. Also make you uncomfortable. <laughs> Why it make you uncomfortable? Because that's what I mean. <laughs> Street. You know, some people tell me the reason to make them uncomfortable, and that is a good thing, you know? Mm -hmm. Maybe the core values that you have need to be shaken up and questioned. Not necessarily saying you got to change the whole vibe, but if it's making it uncomfortable, maybe there's something in there that kind of needs to be reapproached, right? Um. Also, make sure you check out the Brazier EP there in the description. Also, he has a music video there blazing the airways make sure you check us out every sunday wloi.org i never knew radio with yours truly junior aka the ball head spinning roots rock reggae music and oh conscious t make sure you support us there uh link is in the description there we have some vibes coming john henrik clark is on the way so once it's available i will let the people know far right what we're reasoning about today yeah well today the reason is an interesting one too, because we are reason about the um percentage of black males to black females in America, and then we are reason for a whole heap of different things where I affect the statistics, I affect the census, where we, 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 we would have find by most um accurate, supposed accurate website the same way. So I could dig in right now. Curious thing, far right, and um, I'll kick start it in the sense that. So from what we know right now, right, it's 41 million black people in America. So they say, right? Um, statistics are a very tricky thing. It's not hard to manipulate statistics. It's not hard to skew them in a way that you want them to portray a certain message to the public. Um, and I'm not here. The purpose of this reason is not to uh, attack, all right, or necessarily criticize statistics. But there is a statistic in there that's very alarming, very what we would say, uh, discouraging and also very dangerous if we analyze it. And that's the route I want to go. So we have 49 million black people, right? I want to be clear. At birth, um, it's actually more boys than girls, right? So that is across the board when you look at all these different um, uh, reports, they do acknowledge that there's a consistency there, right? There's also a consistency where that age between 1835, that's where things start to change dramatically in regards to the population. You start to have an immense decrease amongst the males and an increase in the females. At age 65, 60, 65 now, that's when the proportion is the biggest, obviously. That's with most groups, especially in America, even with white people, you do have uh, um, a decrease in the males and increase in the females. But for black people, if I go way off where I think it's over 60 and in the high 30s or 40s in regards to, to uh, the black population, 60 female, uh, 40 something high 30s males. Why is this? <laughs> why is this the issue? And what is the cause of this? Right. The first thing is this, that that the initial thing where most people say far, I believe you said you saw it also where it says that 8 percent. So it's like um, for every uh, 10 females, there are eight males. Right. That's the that's the thing. Yeah. That's that's totally off. That number is actually higher than what they uh provide to the public. Reason being out of that 10 and we're dealing with we're dealing with a family structure. We're dealing with community. I want to be clear. Sorry, I didn't clarify that. Uh, this is dealing with uh, the possibility of people cohabit <laughs> cohabitating, reproducing, having a family. Right. The availability of men to women is much less than what they profess. Because we have to factor in those who are unemployed, those who are unemployable, those who are homosexuals, those with mental illness. I know we have the term home nesters, but what do you refer to the children that don't leave the home? What is that called? I don't know what that one is called, but you have some men that just like, fire, they never leave their parents' house and they never have any sense of independence. So I say maybe non-independent men, right? Uh, we have those who... Uh, see what's going on and just choose the life of a womanizer, right? It's like, what's the point? There's so many women available to one man. Um, what else do we have in that category? We have uneducated, 
Um, oh, we have, oh, the famous one. I'm leaving it out. Incarcerated and those who have been in the system. Uh, that is the highest proportion. And we have those who are obviously, um, uh, no, I think that's the last one. I just want to talk about the prison thing because that's the most famous one people speak about the majority of the time, right? If you notice in our media, they love to show you a story of a person who went to prison, he got out, reformed his life and doing great things. The reason they show you that because that doesn't happen. <laughs> like That's a Hollywood story. For whatever reason, they use that to take away from the torment and the destruction of the prison industrial complex, right? So what happens to the average person? Uh, this economy is kind of not reflecting that accurately because people aren't working it's so easy to get a job but if the economy was normal where there was a certain level of competition those with degrees and master's degrees can't find work so how the heck a, a man with a felony gonna find a job a man with a felony especially if he doesn't have any skills or education so the average prisoner and anyone who has been in the system can attest to this it's very hard to find a livable wage fire we got to make sure we put in that word there because a lot of times when we deal with employment, people just deal with the fact that you get up and leave your house and go somewhere and receive a check. But regards to livable wage, because without the livable wage, you'll be pushed to get back into a life of crime. Because that's what you're doing in the first place, fire for survival. I'm not talking about killing fire. I'm talking about hustling and doing criminal activity or what the system of views as criminal to generate money. They're not doing it because they want to. And if you talk to the average man, he don't want to do it. But if he has responsibilities and uh, the, the the job that he has uh, he qualifies for doesn't provide it he'll deal with that then with those statistics put in place now i would argue to say it's like six to five point five to ten six to ten right then i'm with this man laughing but moving moving forward you want to jump in before yeah, i touch the next part go but, ahead but the but the if i break it down pint by pint I, I would say we're talking about the jail. I know enough people find it for be some form of conspiracy um theory when then ones mention how the system out for black males as it relates to 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 prison. Uh, it's no it's no form of theory, you know, because it's a real it's a is a is an actual thing, you know. And if anybody observes the system, them can tell that fire because the the rate of a black black um black male recidivism compared to any other race, twice as high to I mean I talk about the facts say. Eh? I just at them basically fill the prison population, knowing that them are supposedly the minority when it comes to the numbers in the country itself. And we realize all the way it's got the way the system structure is that it want the black man to think nothing of himself. And so when time him think nothing of himself now, then him can be goosey, loosey goosey and him do anything when he want to do. And then pan the pan top of that now, the system itself now fill the youth, fill the black youth them with ego. So they fill them with ego now and tell them that this are the part that they're supposed to take. Then we feel like they're not going to know. They just build the this, build this system and the prison industrial, com com um, prison industrial complex come and soup them away. So them think that them think there's no form of conspiracy theory. These are all practical things. And anybody will want, will want to debate that. I don't really think it it, it debatable at this particular point because there's so much different poo fight. Even with a real old book like The New Jim Crow, it's a book where break it down and analyze it and show you. So after after getting them particular knowledge there, I don't feel like nobody's supposed to even debate them for there. And that I was there, I say one of the main, 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 main reasons. Because remember again, too, you know, we even bring in the whole, the whole concept of, of, of the welfare reasoning that we talked about re recently. I would talk about the fact that they would not make a, make, make, make a woman get any form of benefit from the system if a black male is in that house, household. And knowing, say, why separate the black male from the household in most of them cases? So the black male is their prison. So it's like them did want the black male for their prison to give the, 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 the black woman a farm an incentive to make it seem like they might look out for the black woman. But them looking out for the black woman, which is them, when we say them, we talk about the system. The system looking out for the black woman come at a cost of seeing the black man in a prison. So that's a loan show there, them says no farm a conspiracy. And that's a one thing as they say, it has dwindled down the whole population itself now. And I make the, the pool get scarcer and scarcer for the black woman them overall. And I want to add one more thing before I move on. There was a report in the 1960s, fire. Um, I think this was before Lyndon Johnson was the president. And the report was breaking down that the only savior for the black household was the black man. Uh, written documentation uh, by government officials. Um, so I wanted to touch on how all this affects the dynamic and the relationship of uh Dayton and black family because that's a big topic and it's a lot of uh back and forth and putting down 
of uh the the sexes by each other, right? And one of the things we have to acknowledge that I don't think people are acknowledging is the most basic concepts that just on basic numbers, right? They're not enough black men for black women. I think that's like the most basic thing we just have to start and just clarify, right? Now, I know people have a skewed view of or some uh, weird, I don't know call it weird, but unrealistic view of a spouse that they would like, right? So that's not even a realistic thing. I've been hearing this thing about the six-figure guy, six-foot guy, and all this other stuff, right? So let's put that to the side. <clears throat> let's just deal with people who are like, you know, working, responsible, you know, um, capable of uh, being around children, that type of vibe. Is not that many. And and that's the thing we need to acknowledge. I think the expectation is just unreal. And the fact that the numbers are so off, that's one of the key components in the situation that we're in. For instance, now, right? If we are aware of the importance of a strong male in the lives of both young boys and both young girls, based on the numbers, many people not just gonna have it anyway, fire. Because you just not enough. <laughs> All right, it's just not enough men to go around to provide that for the children, right? Now, when that takes place now, when you constantly have this absence, I don't know if it's survival or what, but uh, there's this whole culture now, collectively, this is the thing I dislike. Now, in every culture, you have good people and bad people fight. Let's just put that out there, right? You have you have white men who don't take care of their kids. You have white men who cheat on their wife. You have white men who take care of the kids and vice versa, help out good dudes, solid dudes, the Indian man, the Chinese man. But when it comes to black people, too many times, especially on public forums, they're collectively putting out all black men and they need to ease off that reason being the experience that you had or the experience that you have in your demographic, in your circle. We have to uh, keep things in perspective and I think a lot of people don't have the mental capability to understand their experience is not everyone's experience and that's what's putting a whole bad label on black people in the sense that yes you may have had a bad experience with the man or the man may be absent or the man may be abusive but that's not every black man and I really learned that in education fire I learned that in education as being a black teacher. In my experience, I have taught kids that at 16, 17 that had never had a black male teacher and they didn't know how to process you. They didn't know how to process you as an intellectual person. They didn't know uh, to process you as a, a consistent person, as a, be a balance of being both um, a disciplinarian and a person with nurture because they just know they either have absence no, no experience at all, and they just take the negative, whatever things are said about a person, or they take that negative experience and put it on, on to a next person. And I don't mean to stray from the argument. I want to get back to what I was saying, but wait, wait, no, but 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 the reasoning valid still enough. I, 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 I your day is true, but it, it's a kind of you know because watch this now. It, there I mentioned the jail. I mentioned um a couple of different factors. Factors where, 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 where I make the pool even lower of how much black man did it towards black woman. But when we really sit down and check it, uh, one of the big things that we sit up on the rise, I'm, I'm not sure if it, it definitely not reached the amount of percentage of prisoner, prison. But with the condescending um, trait where, 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 come with, where I come with a lot of the black woman, them now, they mentioned it just briefly a while ago, it, but it'll get more rampant because. We, the, 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 the way all the expectations them set now and the way it designed based off a supposed education, it, it'll get more 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 rampant right now because the system already designed. So it's like when majority of the black women are going to a classroom, it designed for them the ideal black man based on the, the type of standard now where them set from an educational perspective, solely educational too, you know. Because if if a black man even have a trade, to a certain extent, but him don't have a, a, a bachelor's degree or a master's degree where the, where the black woman are earned. The black woman look down upon him or ability to him for the most part now. So we start to see a whole heap of different rising trends with that now. And that in itself to a take away and a, 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 I would almost say it a shatter the confidence enough for the black man them too. Them not talk about it in a because it's like the one them kind of kind of custom. Culturally, we are custom for, for keep their feelings there inside a way and not really express their feelings. But on an educational forefront, when the black woman get more education and 
fear aspiration of what a successful man is itself is something we're painted by classroom standards is a thing where we, we are mash up the whole psyche of the black woman herself you know but it, it have a more broader impact when it comes to the to comes to the, the, the thought process of the black man and that's one thing where I dwindle them down so it could have even have a connection if 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 I want to even check it more deep it could have a connection to the to the wrongdoings itself of a black man too because expectation where Said for him and telling him when what makes him somebody and what does not make him somebody. Me now again find an excuse for no one, but me just try to put the connection them together same way. No, you you brought up a great point, Farai, right? And I want to say there are cultures there where uh, I know we have social norms in regards to roles of sexes, but I've studied certain cultures. Uh, I forgot the one in Africa. I know it's an indigenous culture, but the way they did it, they did what was needed. I think it was I don't know if it was in um, where Patrice Lumumba from Congo. I don't know. I was reading something yeah. about a group in Congo. I may have it incorrect, and I apologize if I do. But basically, due to colonialism, they saw the situation where they were uh, providing more education to women, less education to men, uh, more jobs to women. And that situation was different, where the women were earning more than men. Um, but obviously, they were uh, earning less than women. I mean, earning less than white women, but it wasn't that much white women uh, in those positions at the time. But they change the expectation of each other based on what the, the situation of society. I think what we've been doing now is that we still have this standard uh, expectation when the uh, ability to do so is no longer there, right? And I, you mentioned the employment thing or the, the salary thing with the women. Yes, women are getting more education than men, but it's not reflecting in their salaries uh, across the board with positions i think women i'm not gonna say 50 but it's usually around 20 grand less than other white women or other groups so even though black women are um doing very well in the academic circle they're getting degrees uh whether it's grade level from fourth grade high school uh they're um well let's see <laughs> their strides in education is not being reflected in their income right and uh unfortunately it's creating a little situation with the family because we have more and more women this is if you're viewing stuff as building a family i, I just want to be clear that everybody not really on that vibe and some people say hey it's just an individual tribe nothing matters to them they're not responsible for anything what they call it no low or something low low live your best life or something anyway yolo <laughs> yolo yolo <laughs> right they on this yolo vibe and the thing is that um i don't know you have more and more women who yes they're moving away from the even idea of having uh, a family reproducing uh they're very focused on their career and their individual tasks now you have two types in that category you may have more but i'm just going to focus on two types you have those who as they follow this path and they're they're burdened by unfulfillment some depression not being happy they want to change it and then they want to shift into this whole realm of you know uh getting a family this and that and they're very discouraged when they go into the pool because unfortunately those who would be available for them or those who would be a good suit are already taken and they're left with the unemployed unemployed <laughs> that little list there right then you have the others now that uh they just disregarded on the whole and just want to live their lives you know they just want to focus on the career and i don't i don't think anything is wrong with that right but uh the previous group i just mentioned i think those are the ones who are online bashing men right it's those who uh have the career have been doing certain things but when they want to shift now and you know have a stable relationship or have a family uh they get full of um anger almost <laughs> in a sense that uh what they're looking for is not there and at least in my personal experience guys i know who are solid dudes who are great people who are progressive people who are the cream of the crop as you would say why are they taking you you know they're married they have kids they have stability they're doing their thing and like um and not to not to say you have men who are in relationships who are good dudes they're not in relationships they may not want to be in another relationship but <clears throat> that pool is even shorter than the rich that that pool is even smaller than the original pool and i think people need to have a different 
strategy in regards to what they want to do with themselves, have a different understanding of what's taking place amongst black the population of black people, specifically black men, and act accordingly. I think, you, unfortunately, and it's unfair to them, but they may have to make an earlier decision on what they want to do with their life. You can't wait. You may have a woman for another race that can just party and do whatever she wants and, and, and experience everyone sexually till she's 40. Then she can settle down and, and do whatever, and there may be people there for her. But in the Black community, unfortunately, that is not the case because the pool is so low due to social economic conditions. And it's not to make excuses, but we have to understand the system is set from education. Black boys are way behind the females. Right? When I say way, I mean way behind the females. And they stay behind as you move forward collectively. Yes, you have a small percentage that's doing their thing, but in regards to the collective, they're very, they're really struggling academically. And that ties back into the whole system because um, we spoke about the, the 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 struggle of single parenthood. And then before anybody get offensive, yes, you have some women that get through, but majority of women is just overwhelming. It's just too much work. You're just focusing on survival and providing. It's very hard to, you know, give attention to academics and nurture and all those things where you're just so busy. It's just the reality of the situation, you know? So it's like, and not saying too, I want to be clear, not saying because you have a man and it's just going to be in a different, you need a solid dude that could assist financially, emotionally, psychologically, spiritually with all these things. So I want to be clear. I'm not going to give the broad thing and say, oh, if you have a man in the picture, everything's sweet. So we want to clear that, right? The whole point is you need a solid dude. And like the child's not getting that thing. Then the child gets older and he reproduces that. And now we just keep, they talk about the cycle. We keep re reproducing these behaviors, these behaviors that's not conducive for the growth of black people or the 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 uh far right. It come like it come like yo. I don't want to say this because I don't want to go too extreme, but it come like an extinction thing gonna take place soon, eventually at some point. Yeah. No, well, 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 well. The only reason why why I'm gonna refute the the particular claim there are because we say we say we're chewing at, at the black man already. And I'm mean, knowing myself, say, by all means, we're chewing at the black man. In particular, black man's supposed to be extinct already, still, you know. Sure, but sure, sure, sure. <laughs> so, and, and only, that's the only claims we can use to say, all right, it now can go the way it is. You see what I mean? I say? Because a different really, type of resilience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Are the, are the resilience alone we can rely upon? Because we, when we really sit down and check it in a fair, as we, as we say, we are looking upon the pros and we are looking upon the cons, you know, because we not try to make no, 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 no black man who not carry him weight feel like, say, once this are the reasoning for him just, um, say, all right, yeah, see that? This is the why the way, this is why I am the way I am. No, that's not what we are trying to do. We are trying to show the ones from all different skills. There are certain things that is affecting the relationship itself. I'm with black man and black woman. We, we were half looking at fire because, funny enough, you dare talk about social economic status. The average person not even have put that into play because when them, whoever is for them hero, whoever is for them role model, whoever them, them, them see, I, I, I live a lead a particular life where them want to live, them don't realize say, the person, the social economic status affect them. So while they see a white person do a, do a particular thing, or them, them, them see a person, especially a European, I do a particular thing and things so that them can associate with a European in America because oh they're they're not from this country. No. The relate the way them set upon the social economic scale is so totally different from you. And I that me realize eh, a lot of especially the, the black female them my sister, them them are gravitate towards the the, 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 the the European type of standard and the way of thinking. Not realizing say one. When I say you have to live your life for, 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 for far more these particular expectations or if you just develop the society per se, because as human beings, so generally speaking, we have the selfish nature and we have the we have the selfless nature. You see me? I say, but we have to overstand say every single thing where we do it, it is, is a reflection of these statistics that we are talking about. Like just every individual make up them statistics, you know. And people now realize that because they must say numbers and I think what them now think, where these numbers come from. You see me I say? And then it's like what they say when them change their mind now. When them change their mind now, I realize say, them get left off our track for the most part, you know. Them start them start giving now, you know. And so when them start giving to certain social norms even more now, just because them feel like say them late and them want to catch catch up in other race. Here's one thing with them do now. 
them shatter the confidence of anybody where them come across. As weird as it sounds, they, they, them shatter the confidence of anybody where them come across because, because them feel like, say, them have dropped them standards. Then the confidence level of anybody will come mingle with them now. It get altered. It either go get boosted when it's not supposed to get boosted, which is a false thing because it's not everybody confidence if you just say, boy, you're going to boost up. So especially if they're not doing something progressive. Or are at the opposite effect where they might be little of one confidence when the person they them, them should have build up the person the confidence or the blackmail the confidence to say, all right, this is a youth that we can build with. We can set the thing the way. Yeah. And then we get for overstand so a lot of these expectations when we see, when we see them, them, them put in some of the women them. It's not realistic expectation either. Because them now fulfill fulfill for them duty duty you know. But them expect said this is a list that I come with. This list must be fulfilled <laughs> and this must this must be required because I am the goddess of all goddess. I'm mean, not say I'm mean, not chew no blame upon a plan upon a black woman. You know. One day them overstand me and saying but me I talk about the thought process where get get regurgitated towards the black woman so much that the black woman at times start for alter fear emotion and fear relationship ethics on them type of standard and Farah, i want to say the expectation is is distorted on both sides right so um and it comes from uh just not understanding the environment that you're in you know like because the media constantly pumps certain, certain things you're not understanding you know what fire first of all it's not a lot of black men to start with in the population right then if we break down the ability to earn you know so therefore we got to restructure what we're doing, yeah. I think that's the argument. We got to restructure what we're doing. But before we say that, I wanted to say that um, you, you mentioned that they're using the European standard. But even that's distorted, fire. Because check any statistics. White men on on a high with the suicide fire. White men not doing, men not doing good general in America. They come like America, an anti-male country right now, yeah. So across the board, males are not doing good, whether it's with mental health, health, employment, education because the white females have far surpassed white males in regards to education and it's the same with the black uh, females so across the board men are behind women for whatever reason because many of these systems are set up for women education is designed for females right you can't ask a man yeah, or a male is disposable <laughs> <laughs> but we know that already that's a different argument right males are disposable but um in regards to the the whole expectation you were saying far it's just that strategically right strategically you would have to have a different approach um if you're in a relationship right it understands uh you know for whatever reason you're with a gentleman that can't earn the gentleman has to do something to pro provide to compensate for the income far right you can't just say oh i don't earn and sit around all day there's something you would have to provide to make the shit work and i think that's where we're dropping the ball and everything is just not economics. So it's like, you may, all right, say you're with your lady, right? And uh, things are going great. Everybody's working, everybody's generating money, right? And one of the people go into a, a little patch where whatever, they're unemployed. There's so many things you can do to assist the ship. Other things will have to be done in regards to restructuring, how you spend money to make things work off of this and that. But there are other ways you can and uh, make an impact in the family and the ship going, whether it's picking up the kids more, cooking more, doing more, this, you know, this. But I think it's the vibe where if I'm not working, I just sit around, especially with the men or females too, you know? So I just think they're like, there are other ways to contribute that are not acknowledged. Ah, right, there we go. <clears throat> the other ways to contribute are not acknowledged. And there's there's a different part of the argument too that, you know, for for some reason, uh, maybe it's because of not being exposed to certain males. A lot of females are very bad at picking a meat. They don't like, they pick people with no potential uh, in regards to uh, positive traits. It's more, I guess, physical appearance and, and, and sexual actions. And it, that seemed to get old real quick. So I think uh, people should, both male and female now, should do a better job of picking a mate and picking people with the characteristics that will lead to long-term stability in the relationship. I think we bypass too many red flags. For instance, if I meet a young lady, right, and I tell her I'm doing new in this and she don't see me doing that, 
why is she believing that I do it for right? And I've never demonstrated that I do it. You don't see me with no purpose. You don't see me working. You don't see me doing nothing. You just see me talking. So the thing a very, a very complicated thing. You know, but at the same token, one can argue, how does one know to pick a significant other when they have never seen a healthy relationship or no one has ever told them how to pick a significant other? The next person could argue too and say, hey, when the elder tell you something, you don't want to listen anyway. <laughs> you may have that elder break it down and say, yo, that's the wrong move, but you don't want to hear it. I know, say, that's why, that's why of, of, of all things, one 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 main plead and main cry when we make every single day, especially at this time. You see, as for black males who are fathers, try by every means possible for make sure you see, you're fully, fully active in your youth life because enough of them things are spiral down back to that, you know. I mean, I say it, sometimes I it, it's not necessarily of the male's fault itself, you know, which is what is always portrayed. I say, okay, that's a father who neglect the child. We know there's other factors that are going on that too, especially when it comes to the relationships them not working out. And we feel like say when the relationships them not work out now, all co-parenting skills are lost. That's one of the main things that will really impact and affect Wally by youths both there, you know. Especially sorry, most black youths both there, you know. Because them parents never work out. So the co-parenting skills gone through the door. And I want to tell people say, that that's one of the main, main things while you see them have this whole terminology of absentee father, fathers within the black community. And it's not just neglectful fathers. So I really want, want, want to change your whole stereotype, their narrative. But in a, this particular time, I encourage every single youth, any, every single black man, if you have a youth, make sure you see a partake in a youth life. Because you see if it's, a, if, if, if it's a male you have, if it's a son you have, you can show your son say, uh, this are the particular way, oh, 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 um, a male for act towards, a female act towards himself and know about himself, worth and dignity. And then Pantapa now realized that the confidence, the confidence level in a females who never have a father for, 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 for show them certain things and give them the ultimate love the way them, where them can deem as the first love itself, they don't really know how to find a man, a man of stable character because them still a search to get this they love day so it's like the, them searching at a particular time when them don't mature it, it it bring them back down to a vulnerable state so every single relationship where where, where, where them come into play with them so vulnerable in all different things i mean vulnerabilities are good in relationship depending upon the particular area but them vulnerable holistically when them are dealing with relationship and that are one of the things them know when them can't select a good meal meat so you realize that the, the role of a father are one of the most significant things. Nobody make nobody tell you nothing. And I overstand, I overstand say, yeah, mother and father are very, very effective to you. But you see the role of a, of a father in a black youth life is not where we for undervalue because we see time and time again where the missing father, missing father affect the whole family structure. And it's not just one generation. It's a whole chain reaction, I think. And at that moment, I really showed the item to you, know? All right, a powerful statement and a real truth because um, even though men don't get acknowledged for what they do, what they do is priceless fire. Don't get it twisted. And I want to say again, even though men don't get acknowledged for what they do, respect to all the people out there on the daily grind, all the fathers out there, all the providers, all the nurturers, you know, uh, they don't get acknowledged or appreciated, that's the term, for what they do. But what they do is so vital uh, for people's survival in this society, especially as a black person. Um, but I, I, the, the point of this reasoning to bring it full circle is that you have to understand, fully understand the environment that we're in and all the parts that play and what's going on before we just generalize certain things. I think that was the point of this reasoning far right to say that, hey, yes, we have certain uh, issues within our community right but the question is why and another thing too what can we do to improve it that's what i've been noticing we're, we're very good at well i can't say we some are very good at identifying the issues within our community right but we never deal with any strategies in regards to what we can do to overcome them or avoid them i've seen people break down the system and understand it, but do still do the same things that helps the system suppress them. 
So it's like, we'll march, right? We'll march and say Black Lives Matter and burn down the whole place. But those same people marching when marijuana was illegal will be in a car packed full of people smoking weed. Or you have a legal firearm. Like, it, you, you, you need to avoid doing things that helps the system oppress you. Oh, you know, um, they're not teaching. They're not teaching us anything. That's the big thing, right? <laughs> the system not teaching us anything. So with all this access here, why don't you spend time to learn? If I'm clearly aware, for all right, like, hey, these people are not teaching me something that I know. Wouldn't it be foolish of myself to not? go after it myself after I identified that these people are clearly not teaching me something that I need to know. You know, a lot of commenters on black relationships don't understand the social dynamics of why things are the way they are. At birth, there are more black women than women. Uh, there are more black men than women at birth in America. Between 18 and 36, things go downhill for black men. Yes, we're not going to save all black men, but there are things that can be done to help those that at least another black woman will have a, a, a possible spouse that's functional, that can earn an income, that she can have a conversation with and have a support system with and have, uh, if she, uh, you know, has kids, have a, a supportive father for her and the children. And one more thing I want to say, if all right, some men, you need to give back some of your time, you know. Some progressive men, you need to give back some of your time, you know, because the, the vibe is you're doing your thing. I don't like using the word successful too much, but you're successful within the, the, the tenets of society. You don't give anything back. And on another note, I know it's very hard to give back because the same people that you're trying to help give you the worst, <laughs> the, the worst behavior. So that's part two, you know, but like we need more people to give back. You don't need no big organization fire, just a little help. Or even with your own kids, give it give back to them so they could grow up and be functional people in society. And for those that's not on no community vibe, I understand. Try it on with your individual thing. But if you're on the individual thing, I don't think you should be commenting on what's going on in the collective because it don't have nothing to do with you. If you want your one away, you know, you don't want no family, you don't want no kids. But I don't think you should be commenting on the family and kids if you're not in that struggle, if you're not on that daily grind. I think you should just focus on YOLO or NOLO, whatever that is. I think NOLO, no, that makes sense. Anyway, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> One of those, if you're on that tribe, just be on that tribe and comment on that tribe. If you can't find no man, all right, they're not out there. It's not for you. Just let, let them be. But you criticize and criticize and criticize and every day not helping nothing. That's how they think. That's how they think in the fire. Can you see it? This criticism thing gets out of hand now, you know. It's very, uh, as what they say, you know. So everybody that be on them computer screens, so it even meant criticism level raise, like ultra, <laughs> ultra. But you see, it, when we feel like as, as as black people, there are certain things where we need for do for level of scale. You see, me I say, both black men and black women equally need for, for do them particular things. Yeah. So, 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 so number one, family later strategy. Because I feel like <laughs> when it comes to strat being strategic, black people don't really have strategic tendencies with them with them practice. I know say as ones and one myself, oh, but me strategic now. When I'm not even just talk about that on the individual level. Talk about on a collective gear. We need to have more strategy itself too. And sometimes I feel like we was through some small, small differences. We, 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 we broke up the whole strategy and said, said that this can work because of these small differences. So we need to become more strategic if we are going to advance fully seen and level the scale. And then the second one, we, we, upon, the, upon the show, you want to post a tired for hear the word, don't it? Because the word, the word come like it, like an irritate to know, upon the show, you know, accountability. Accountability. Because, because <laughs> may I tell you, I say, when it comes to accountability, as African people, especially in America, I realize that accountability live. I don't explain to already still, but I just try because when I say you know, do things for get caught and then I, I, I go say oh the system is rigged. We know the system designed the way that already as they say. So so why why do it 
do it in a particular particular manner there, a particular means. For sure, what type of point you have to prove? Uh, we are going to point, prove a point to a particular system where it's more powerful than you within this particular this particular time itself. If you are going to develop, you are, you are, you are more sidestep the system. So you definitely are contribute towards the system through your lack of accountability. And then the, this, this third part now is where I feel like say, from, 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 from you have no farm or shade of darkness, you need to ensure say, you have follow this particular rule right now if you want to elevate. I tell you, say, the self in, self inflicted wound is where, as a people, we need to stop it for you. Because as a people, I realize the majority of the wounds them we, 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 we get are some self inflicted wounds. And, it's like not, and then we come back down, see, see, are the reason them are tired up, you know, the reason we just have, I don't care, you know. But, uh, it's coming back in a, in a particular place, you know, because I realize say, most of the people, them, I, I, I give a distance of, I don't care, and I don't care is a self-inflicted wounds. And see, because we don't care, we inflict ourselves even more and more and more, and we now see why, why this thing has dwindled down itself, too. And then we know, members say, we don't say male disposable at large, you know. So one self-inflicted wounds that take place, who you think it going to affect more? Me know say it's going to affect a whole heap of women, but it's going to affect the men them more because anything when negative itself, you know, we have to do in the doing the dwindling of population, you know. Just know say our males are going to get it more than likely first, you know, fire. So now we see all the self-inflicted wounds that affect the black man and make it more or less, make it make 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 him become more scarce though. I want to touch on one last thing, fire. The spending habits. I know nobody want to talk about me. It's a big part of the whole structure and the whole thing. The spending habits fire, this yearning for certain things, for status, for you want to call self-worth, for acceptance that you can't afford. It's a terrible situation we're dealing with right now, Far. So yeah, people earn money, Far. Don't get it twisted. I don't want to be clear. You have a portion of society that don't earn enough to, to for anything. And this is not for them. This message is not for them. They just don't earn enough. This is for those who earn. Your spending habits are terrible. And also, this sp- no, if I heard a serious thing, then also, you have to re, let me see, re, you have to understand what it is to invest in your child. Investing in your child is not buying the latest and the greatest because you're grooming that person to be insecure and a mindless consumer and dependent on exterior things for their self-worth. A lot of these parents collectively as black people across the continent, across the country of North America, our children are way below average in regards to their performance and reading and math. Take some of this money, Farai, or people listening, and spend it on a program or tutoring to increase your child's ability to read and do basic math get them on a level let them feel comfortable reading let them get confidence reading if you don't have time to read with them which is very important in the early stages yo and the money's there instead of buying a hundred something dollar shoe cut it down to 50 use the difference on tutoring or some type of educational support we don't want to talk about this this is extremely important for the future we have to re we have to look at how we spend our money differently. And I think that's one of the most basic things you can do. Yeah, the child gonna fill away, but in regards to long term, it'd be better off. Because people are struggling with reading, they're struggling with basic math. And this is something you could do to be proactive instead of being reactive. And blaming the teacher. Fire, that's the funniest thing to me with this blaming the teacher. How you gonna blame the teacher? The teacher just met this person when they're 16. That's why I'm at the cause of the, the, the fact that they can't read. What was going on with you the whole time? But anyway, accountability. Uh, if there's any form, of, or even if the credit card is there, you love charging stuff on your credit card. I'd rather work with some debt for some tutoring than for some vacation and sneakers or a restaurant, a bar, a party. If you're going to go into debt, go into debt for that. So at least the child can, like, you know, have some skills of functioning and get things going and understand what they're reading. So that's just a recommendation. Some people, I know people don't want to hear it, but it's something to consider. Investing in the child, encouraging the child. You know, and like, um, 
uh, black women, black men, black women, you have to be aware of our position in society. What's going on? I remember my mom's always say, where's the black man? My mother, she in Jamaica, she say it all the time. She says she go out, she don't see no black men. I want to tell you a joke. I was in um supermarket in Ochi. I forgot the name, right? I was at the cash register. This It was like, you ever see these movies and it's like these scenes that's like things are weird? It was like a movie fire. It was me and another man was the only people in the supermarket. Imagine that. And there was no empty supermarket. It was a supermarket. All right, the, the shopping center there. Um, oh, man. No, not in Ochi, in Montego Bay. Um, anyway, my supermarket there. Anyway, yeah, it was just, me and my was wow. Like, you know, like it used to be somewhere and like everybody's an alien or everybody's an animal or something. It was just like all women. So where are the men? How much functions do I go to as a black person? Or I'm the only man. And everybody who have a man, he not there. So I don't know what's going on. Everybody say they got a man, but I ain't see him. Black man, them, they know, they know the trap horse. <laughs> yeah, I know it's, it, it will laugh and say enough of them things are still in about. I'm going to tell the people all the time, you know. You see, being a youth, we, 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 we come from the street and see certain things in the street. I feel like it, 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 it more require you to speak on them type of issues, yeah, because... A lot of people don't see it from the realistic standpoint, but we see it from the from the farmer standpoint, as in that they say you can go on event or on function the same way. As well as we can go and see the other side of the world to see how oh, enough of the ones them I live. And I feel like I said the ones them expectations, them have so much different expectations, but ex them expectations are themselves. Uh will leap a black man and see the expectation of themselves. It's so low. It's not even funny for you. It's so low where them where, 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 where majority of the black males them think of themselves. So I I'm and it make make you start for wonder like why them think of themselves, which we don't know we mention so much of, of the different factors them. Why them think of themselves. But I feel like say, especially the accountability part is where we need to cling on to even tighter. I'm I'm I want them for overstand say it, in order, I know we have, to, we have to fulfill them. Now we have to fulfill this purpose reasoning because knowing the, uh, your purpose, I feel like one of the main solutions them to getting towards that itself. So I feel like we have to save the part for the reasoning there. But the expectation of ones have for themselves is so low. The self esteem itself is not there. So we feel like it lead majority of the black man them for go go out there to do anything what them want to do. Knowing say. It already people already expect them to do this. So if it's not welcome as the as as the as the as the out of the box type of situation, you know. But fire this last thing I want to say is a snowball effect, you know? Because it's like, all right, you know, manhood in America, even though things may be shifting in regards to opportunities for certain sexes, the, the core idea is still the same. Manhood in America is based on your ability to generate income. Right? So if you can't generate income, therefore you're not a man, according to society standards. Now society is set. It is ve listen. It is very hard, right? I want to reword this too. It is difficult. It is difficult for black men to generate an income, a livable wage, or uh, exceed in a livable wage. A lot of it starts with from they say your zip code. Your zip code plays a big problem because the education you receive is so far behind and between mentioning what you said, lack of confidence, lack of exposure, it's just not a good situation, right? So if you can't generate an income and the woman now that you're supposed to be generates the income, doesn't that create a schism in the house? Because the woman is not thinking or understanding that why you can't generate an income. She just knows that based on societal standards, you're supposed to either make more or at least equal to her. And that's just not the environment that we're in. So it just create that, just, that, that alone just creates an issue in the household. Because uh, I know initially... Let me ask you a question to you. Of course, I come one day add, 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 to, add to this, but in regards to the I talk about a black man and a, and a black woman in the same household about the black man not generate. But what happened to, 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 to a black man where now generate the income and him don't live with with with, with him with him um 
what you call him, partner, him, whether you say baby mother or other co parents, see? Him don't want him to the black man in the example, you know. How, how, how is that situation carried out? Because remember, when you're in the same house, you know, that's what I say. One can know say him can substitute that and if him for cook more or what. But the man we don't live in the same house as 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 the woman and the child, and him now have no income and generate him substituting. There's not really the substitute. So oh nah, yeah, it's a situation there. <laughs> oh, that, that, that women one, facts there. Eh? No, that wouldn't sound like a rough situation unless there's a maturity there in, the, in regards to the uh the parents involved, where you know uh, there would be things done where the child's with him. But even so, like if he's not generating income, I don't know his living situation and what he's able to provide. That sounds like a tricky situation. It seems like you got to look into yourself and get yourself together. Truth be told. You know, because even if it's in the house, as you said, it's different. But if you're not in the house now, it becomes a terrible situation. Because even living with a situation, he doesn't have sustainable living. So as a parent, why would you want the child there if this man don't have sustainable living? Or sustainable income, you know? So it get, it get, it get real tricky, tell you the truth, yeah. It get real tricky, you know? And the only advice I could give to the ladies out there is that, yo... You need to tone down who you're sharing yourself with. You, know? you really need to tone it down and stop this, Stop going into things with this expectation that people are going to change or you're going to change that person. This person is over 18, 20, 25, 30 years old. They're very, uh, they have perfected their behaviors and they're very consistent. That's one thing I say about people, yeah, pretty consistent, right? And for some reason, we want to deny the consistency of their behaviors especially when it comes to relationships the whole street full of red flags and you don't see nothing you're looking up everywhere else because you just feel that nah that's not the case but it is the case if you're with a man and this man has not had consistent employment why why do you think he's going to get it for you why do you think you're so maybe it's a delusion why do you think you're so special that this man all of a sudden is going to just change the characteristics that's that's coded in his dna for you Dude has a crazy temper problem, right? That probably turns you on. That's what you're attracted to, right? Fighting and arguing and all this. So are you going to cut it off? Are you not going to get none of that? <laughs> you're not going to get none of that flavor? Yeah, you know, Fire, it's, um, mm -hmm. it's, it's just a delusion, Fire. But uh, we just encourage everyone, before you go out there criticizing, understand the dynamics of the situation that we're in within this society, within this space, within this time. And... um have more compassion for both sides um and everyone's it's just a rough situation being a black person in america it is what it is we are very resilient we'll continue the resilience and i encourage everyone to continue the resilience i know it's a hard thing uh the resilience that we have to demonstrate becomes an uh a issue with your mental health that's why it's very important to check up try your best to eat properly try your best to get some rest stay positive stay away from the negative news but you can't go bashing men and bashing women because the thing is so complicated right there are a lot of factors going into our situation so we can't just like put each other down like that but i just want to know for the ladies that hey one of the reasons people that talk about like finding men is that they're not a lot of men out there from a number standpoint just to start with it's not even good man to bad man. There's just literally not enough men out there. It's just not. So you need to act accordingly. And if you do have a good man, you need to hold on tight. Because if you lose that one and the replacement not there. What's the sister? What's the song? Sister got a uh, replaceable Beyonce, a big hit. A lie is foolishness, you know. For you, it's, very, uh, it's borderline impossible unless you just, you know, you're in a, a, a real situation. Because as the men get older, then too, what I noticed too with a lot of men is that I never understood it when I was longer, younger, but uh, after they've been through a relationship where they had a divorce, right, they kind of done. They're not going back out there like that in regards to committed relationships. They may date here or there, but they don't want to settle down with no one again. Oh, fire. You know what I'm saying? They mentioned the song that they, it, it, it just it just strike, strike a bill in my, in my brain too. Because when, when, when she said, I can have another you in a minute, you know, you know that that is based off uh, supposed beauty standards, you know, and uh, uh, status, you know. So you see, at that, at this, you see, you see, it full come full circle. At the right song that they are using, you know, because that is the beauty standard, uh, 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 status. She has, all right, she can have another you, you know, because oh, you if 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 you did in a, a a relationship, and a relationship did take a while to build, um, so you know the person like, you know the person dislike, vice versa. You feel like say so you cannot have another another one a version of that person just like that so you see 
it, it, that I one thing when we get for overstand say a lot of females um judge themselves, judge themselves based off of how them look on the outward outward and no say majority of males just are try flat them. So you see, them feel like say them always in another position for win. And then once them tell themselves say them always in another position for win when it comes to relationship because them have the upper hand already. It's like it give them an ego boost and the ego boost to it give them now start a start take them out a spiral, make them go in a spiral way you now and as so comes now the things start diminishing. You know? All right, I don't want to stretch out the reasoning, right? But I, you keep bringing up stuff, so I have to add it. Some of my younger brothers have been telling me about these date naps, right? Because I obviously it seems like the norm is not to just talk to someone in public anymore. It's a date thing. <clears throat> and Instagram. What this has done is distorted their view so much because the men showing interest are only interested in sex. They're not interested in any long-term relationship. They're interested in sex. So they're taking that interest and kind of substituting that for a long-term interest in sex. Regards to the beauty and all that, that dwindle away, fire. That prime is not the prime for a woman, especially for a woman that doesn't take care of herself. Now, you got women take care of herself, right? And they look good, 40, 50, some 60. But the prime for the average woman is very short because they don't take care of themselves. You don't eat properly. You don't sleep. Meditation off. You know, and it's just like you're not for the eye. You won't be appealing that long. Oh, There's fire away a... at all, but we're not the Dali age. Yes, you say. <laughs> yeah, that's, and that's why they have become the Dali them because oh. they never seen them prime forever. <laughs> well, and one more thing, fire. Right? This whole, um, even the whole concept of like, you know, uh, back to what you're saying with the replaceable, it's like, I think they don't understand that the pool is much shorter than what they think. I think a lot of women think that um, two things I want to mention. One, Beyonce is saying that song because, uh, you know, she has a look and she has money. So maybe she can gain another meat. Maybe that's the reality for her. But the reality to the woman listening to that song is not the case. Right. And also they're not acknowledging like the numbers we presented earlier, where it's just like, as you get older, they're just not a lot of men. <laughs> you know what I'm saying I don't I don't know what else to say. You know, like uh women may have to go to uh maybe that's the reason uh women are moving, going to other races or going to other women. I don't know what's going on far right, right? But the thing is, is that they're not realistic about the pool that they think that they have. I think that's the source of the thing. They're not clearly understanding that there are not a lot of men out here. And we could, yes, we could, we understand the system, this and that. But the thing from a woman's perspective, there are not a lot of, it's a harsh reality to deal with within our society. And what's the term they use? I don't know if they use suitable. I, we, we we didn't mention that today. I don't know if it's suitable or bachelor or whatever, but a, a, a man for a relationship. First of all, they're not a not a lot of men, period. But a man for a relationship is just not a lot of them. It is what it is, you know. So like, maybe black women need to start earlier, <laughs> like back in the days. No, for real, because this waiting thing not is not working out for them. Because as I said, you have those who just want to be by themselves for the rest of their lives. But for those who start off on that path, then change. They get tired of the nightlife. They get tired of the multiple partners. They get tired of the travel. That's the big thing. Everybody wants to travel all the time. They get tired of it, right? And they want uh, someone to talk to, someone to support them, someone to share their life with. That, that come like that ship over fire. Then when that ship go to sea, they want to just criticize and this and that. But it's just like, wow, this man was, you know, approaching you for a long-term thing. You wanted other things. He's with somebody. He's in a stable relationship. He's been married 5, 10, 15 years now. You know, so it's just like, it's a, I don't know. It's a lot of stuff to consider, man. It's a lot of, co and, and I don't know if we even did justice in a short time covering it because there's so much stuff to cover. It really is. And we just, you know, we're just trying to, I just want to emphasize why the numbers are off. Like the numbers are real. Unemployed unemployable uh the prison thing and with prison fire right we always talk about who's in prison we don't talk about who's out of prison 
they just love focusing on that million that are in prison. But what are all those that have been to the system and the trauma that they have? They're not suitable to be in a, a relationship with anybody. They're destroyed mentally and spiritually. A lot of them. PTSD to the max. Military. How much black men that go into the military? Fight? They're not suitable. Not all. I don't know. Military people get all excited with me. But a lot suffer through a lot. And what is it? I think police and military have the highest rates of uh, registered uh, physical abuse, from what I understand. Yeah. It's around. I know police are up there. Police may be number one. So it's just like those who get in certain positions to earn those positions, destroy them to where they, they can't be a good mate or a good family person. Because that job strips them of all the characteristics to do it. And the person you have to be to do it successfully doesn't translate to family life. That's the next conversation you need to have, these occupations, right? Some occupations, like, you just need to be by yourself. There's just too much stress. Just be by yourself. Because it's a waste of time. I think that with athletes and high-performing people, these women are foolish. So why are you around this person? What do you expect this person to do? No, really, like, what, what are you expecting from this person? This person doesn't have an average. This person's under a very high-stress situation daily. They're not going to be patting you on your back. and They may be patting you upside your head when they get angry, but they're not going to be patting you on your back and doing all these things that you saw on TV shows. I, I just I just rather you go into the relationship with a, a realistic expert. They say, I just want the bread, bro. I want the bread. Deal with whatever's needed to get the bread, but don't complain. Don't go try to put this man down for him doing something that he's not capable, he's not capable of doing. He's paid for aggression. Or he's paid to be performing at a very uh level at a uh, um at a high level that doesn't train. He can't turn it down when he comes in the house, or he doesn't have time to be in the house to maintain what he's doing, or to maintain that high level of his craft. So that always mind boggles me, specifically with athletes and like CEOs and stuff. If you know this man is traveling damn near ninety percent of the year, what type of family life are you looking for? Outside of holidays to take pictures. Or an athlete, NBA, 82 games, NFL. Like, why would you marry an NFL player? They got to be so turned up. How do you turn that down in your daily life? I think it's unfair, a boxer. The man has to, you know how focused you have to be in endurance to be in a ring in front of people by yourself, dodging punches at split seconds, trying to take somebody's heads off. And when you, when you, when you leave now, you're just supposed to be this calm, caring person. I don't think it's realistic. I know that's a different part, but I don't think people need a realistic approach to who they're with. You know, men want these high CEO women. So when you're going to see a fire, she's a CEO. That was the, the characteristics she has does not transfer into a relationship. You're looking for her to be some traditional nurturing woman. And that's not, that's not what she does. Why you just can't accept what she does. Then now, Oh, woman rolling out. It's fire. Like to, to do what she does, this is what's needed. And like, I don't see her turning that off because whatever. Yeah, them, not really see the, them, them, not, them not see the relationships as, as being unique. It's like a one, one size fit all business relationships. And that's the thing where, where it, 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 it kind of mash up the relationship them more. And I find out that you, our people, our people them tend to watch TV even more. Them always have the TV expectations of relationship. So that's the next next part where I play to you because nobody now watch TV like black people. May I tell you that? May right. I tell you that? <laughs> I like that one. Stop using TV as your ex- fire. Right. Make sure you write that down. You know, stop using TV as your expectations for relationships. Yeah, I'm gonna write that down. What people we give thanks for tuning in, man. I hope you get a better perspective in regards to uh uh the demographics of our community, um both education employment and how it just affects everything and like certain things that we i'm sure we don't have the full answer right but hopefully we highlighted some things for you to have a different perspective and look at things definitely say man that is the case man like man i noticed like yo i don't see certain people this and that or you know after a certain age is this and that because it's just like there are not a lot of men to start with yes at birth after 18 in america Black men start, black teen, whatever you, teens, that'd be a teen, start missing. <laughs> they start missing. They start missing. <clears throat> we didn't even touch on, like, health, how the society on the whole is just unhealthy for black people, specifically black men. 
the depression, you know, the bad eating habits and all that. You got people dropping dead at 22. Hypertension, diabetes, high cholesterol, 23, 24, 25. You know, so, all right, we give thanks for the reason. We give for thanks for everyone tuning in. We give thanks for the support. And we appreciate it if you would, you know, uh, share the reasoning if you feel it's shareable. You feel it's on the heights. Um, also, far right there has this EP disrupting the status quo in the description. Music video, Freedom in Africa. Also, make sure you check us out, WLOY.org. And make sure you support us at Conscious T New Shorts coming soon. And I'll make I'll notify you when you are there. Also, people, make sure you sign up to the email list so you don't miss out on what's going on. Well, let me hear.